guys we will create a python program to uh use the following we, we will use the list the mean at the same time i will give you the task to use the max okay the purpose of the list is just like a container wherein you can mutate it okay we'll use the basic math of uh, python functions here and this is to revisit all the things that we have discussed in the previous video so please uh, stay and um, watch the entire video so that you can learn how to write your own um, survey application uh, in this uh, program i will just show you how to uh, to write a mini sim a mini and uh, just like a micro application to create your survey using the while loop we will ask the respondents to enter the name at the same time to enter the scores and we create the, the scores as part of our what of our um, survey so we create first the variable the x is equals to list and then we we have the string right here the asked variable and we assign the queue to the asked variable and of course we will use the while loop while we are entering the queue as our answer again we will stay inside the loop we use the lower as part of our string function and at the same time we compare it to the what letter of q okay so while you are entering q the loop will con continue if you will enter other keys aside from q the loop will exit okay now we let us uh, write the variable here name one okay so we use the string to enter the uh, the name of the respondents okay please be careful with the grammar okay let us enter name of the respondent okay now we will infuse the lower here lower key or the upper convert the um, data to capital uh, letters and then we will write our variable for the, the instrument so this instrument will ask the user to enter the number for the survey like for example COVID-19 is dangerous so this is like a survey but your task is to uh, you know increase the number of questions as part of your um, instrument so number two equals to acceptable this, this is the highest so we have number two equals to beat acceptable okay and we have here one that is what let's say uncertain okay so we have only three choices now well uh, this is just like a short uh, example how to write your own uh, micro survey application uh, we are using python to create our prototyping type prototyping style of programming let us copy this one and then we change the variable to q2 okay and after that okay what's next so we have three inputs and of course we need to write it inside the container so the container or the list there is letter x so if you want to write that we will what use append okay but later we will write our function to replace this append okay we will write our functions to invoke append and put that inside our function so we need to append the value of q1 and q2 inside the x function now let us write our function here okay so when you when you write your function in function you need to use the def okay let's start first with the def and then we will use write underscore two and then we will use what the representation of our variable here that will return the parameter to the main program lst will serve as a representation to the name one q1 and q2 and then we invoke x as our container to append okay is the value of lst okay this is just like a variable now what will happen right here so we will uh wait okay we will uh, um write or we will uh, invoke the write to okay function to write the value of q1 okay because write to now has the capacity to store the value of q1 inside the x because we return the parameter of lst as q1 and we append it as part of the x container the same thing with the q2 okay so what's next so we need to print the value of this is now these are the data okay so we need to print the value of x okay let us ask the program or let us ask the uh, the user if he or she wants to continue okay okay so what will happen right here okay we, we are almost uh, in the middle of our code and we have already infused the uh, the append function and we will write append functions by creating our own write underscore two functions let us ask the user to continue so it's very simple uh, we need to use ask equals to string input enter of course q to continue so 
what will happen if the user press any letter aside from letter Q? Well, of course, we need to validate it as lower. If you press uh, a letter not equals to Q, then, of course, we need to exit. So it's very easy to exit. We need to use what? Okay, what is your guess? We need to use what? Okay, so we need to use the break command right here. Okay, that's correct. Now, we need to print thank you. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay, let us erase this thing. Okay, let us test the program. Okay. So, wait, we'll check first our code, see if it is, if it is an error. So, we run the program. Okay, this is it. So, we have the syntax error right here. What is the syntax that's in number 10? Let us check. Okay, we, we, we forgot to put the equals sign. Okay, that is a minor error. All right, let us check it, run the program. We enter the data. Enter name of respondent, Arnold. Okay, these are now the choices. So this is where we put the scores. So we have acceptable, bit acceptable, and uncertain. Oh, wrong spelling. Okay, just, uh, you know, fix that later on. Uncertain, okay. <laughs> Never mind, we'll just uh, fix that. Okay, so we have here, these are the data. The three and two. If you want to enter Q, you will, again, go back to the loop. Okay, so we enter another respondent. All right, for example, Joe. So we have to enter one, and then these are the data three, two, one, one. If you want, if you don't want to continue, well, you need to press any letter. That's it. I entered letter H. Okay, that's very simple. So this is the codes, and I want you to copy this and at the same time practice it. This is very simple, but again, you can uh, um, enhance this later on. Let us uh, check this thing and then. Um, add another question. COVID-19 is a flu. Okay, same. Uh, the same format, the same scores. Okay. Now, what will happen? So, we need to store all the records in another variable. Okay. Uh, right, right now, we have X that will hold the value. So, we have here to declare another variable. So, we will display the minimum. Okay. If you want to display the lowest data, you can use the mean as your command. Because min is the basic math function of your uh, Python. Let us use dips min x. Okay. Why we uh, we are using x? Because x will serve as our parameter, default parameter, to print or to display the what uh, lowest number of our list. Okay. So that's it. So we have two functions right now. We have write underscore two and we have dips underscore min. Okay. What will happen right now? So here. Okay, in our program, let us break the statement right here, and then we go back to the main uh, state, uh, main uh, code. Okay, by exiting to existing to exiting to the loop. So this is the lowest data. Okay, we put there. Okay, and then we infuse comma. Oh, sorry. So this is the lowest data inside the list. We need to. We can use the print command. Okay, to print the mean. That is the normal statement. But again, we have already um fuse our uh, what function at the top so we invoke the main function and then return the parameter as a default value x as our, our own container so we need to use dips main to this is to print the what lowest uh, data inside the list okay we will use now x so that's it we have already invoked the main there and no need to use the main function when we run the program okay we enter the respondents arnold okay let us say we will enter 3, enter 1, enter Q to continue. Okay, let us say, okay, we, okay, I'm sorry, uh, I entered the wrong uh, data here. So we will go back at the top, okay, and then check it, okay. All right, so let us add another variable here, record 1 equals to list the record one will serve as our uh, data bank to store all the records the name of the respondents and the answer of the respondents okay so please try to check the code okay um, this is to practice your um, skills in programming this is basic but again we are now approaching to the middle um, uh, programming um, exercises in Python 
So we have to write another records. This time we need to use another variable as part of our parameter to represent, of course, the list data, right? Now we will, uh, uh, I think we have already three records and then we need to write name one Q2, Q1, Q2, and, and in another what function. So we will write all the records here. Okay, records means the name of the respondents at the same time, the answers. Okay, using Q1 and Q2. So here we go. So write records, and then we have here name. Okay, LST1 will serve, will, 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 will serve as a parameter for name one. Okay. I think that's right. Yes, that's right, because we have another sets of variable in our list. So again, we will write using the functions of write records. Okay. And then we go to Q1, write records. Okay. And then we go to what? Q2. Okay. So we have two containers. We have record one and we have X variable for the list. That record one for all the records x for the list that will accept all the list to be uh, validated by the dips mean the purpose of the dips mean is to uh, determine the lowest data uh, entered by the respondents okay so um, we will check again the code right here okay and by the way you can use your um Python uh, idle to write this program. At the same time, you can use your Q Python. Be sure that your Python is, uh, you know, um, that is uh, supporting 2.0 and uh, your Python in your laptop or in your PC is supporting 3.0 and 3. Point in, the, in the upper version of Python. Okay, now this, let's display all the records. So we have create that we are here to write the, rec the records to display all the records in record one. So, okay. So far, we have four uh, functions here in our program. Okay. I th the code right now is a bit uh, sexy because we, 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 we write the different functions to handle our list at the same time to store our data, our name one, Q1 and Q2 inside the what? Inside the list using the list of X and using the list of record one. Okay. So we have there. Let us examine here. Okay. All right. So patience is a virtue. <laughs> okay. Now let us check and uh, run the program. Okay. So we'll enter the name of respondents, Amy, enter the, uh, the survey. And then, okay, let us enter. Let us continue. So these are now the records, okay? I think there, I think we missed something, okay, in this program. There's a problem with this. We need to rectify the program, okay? Let's check it again. And then we enter two, we enter one, and then we will stop the program. Let us check if it will display the list and the lowest number of the list. Okay, what will happen? I think there's there, there are errors in the program. Let us, okay, let us fix this error. I think uh, we missed two. Uh, check this out. Uh, instead of using the record one, we use the X. That's why we have the duplicate records in our um, list. So that's why we cannot uh, you know, um, get the exact output because we uh, have the mixture of the string and of course we have the mixtures of the numbers. So that's why we cannot determine. That's why we, uh, the mean uh, function is going to determine the lowest number inside the list. Okay. Now we have here. Okay. Uh, please wait. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Now. So we have here the dips mean x. So this is the functions where we determine, okay, the lowest data inside the list. But again, uh, in your own, uh, in your own, uh, at your and uh, in your end, at your end, I mean, you can uh, create your own function to uh, determine also the average and determine also the um, highest number inside the list by using the max. But if you want to write your own functions to find the average, well, we have discussed that. You need only to uh, find the sum at the same time you divide it the the in the length of your list so that you can get the average okay we have another error right here so we'll check it so what's the error so let us check here 
okay this is correct this is correct and then we have record one record one is part of the list so let's say we need to remove this default uh, parameter okay and then we remove this parameter default parameter let's say we just use here okay the function as records all underscore records okay we enter now number three number two enter q to continue okay i want to continue i enter q and then i will enter arnold okay let us now what you call this um, enter the data so let us press letter r so here you are uh amy entered three two arnold entered three three so the lowest number of the list is number two okay so that's how we uh, invoke our uh, functions okay using the main functions okay